McCluskey and I work as a senior technical officer in the School of Biological and Health Sciences at Technological University Dublin in Ireland. Well, I chose to study science as I had a real love of biology and physiology at school. And I chose to work in a university where I could continue to learn more about the subjects I loved while also working with the next generation of enthusiastic scientists whose energy and enthusiasm helped keep me enthusiastic and inspired in my day-to-day -day job. I was inspired by my biology teacher in school who clearly loved biology and passed that enthusiasm on to most of her students. And I was also inspired by my PE teacher who loved sports science. And although it wasn't possible to study sports science as a career 20 years ago in Ireland, she made science and sport fun without any fuss. And she was an inspirational teacher who was ahead of her time, both in sport and in science. And she was a real inspiration to me. At the moment, as a school, we are all working on planning how we will deliver our practical classes and operate our teaching labs with social distancing in place due to coronavirus next semester. And this has presented us with huge challenges which need novel solutions. So we're working as a team across the school to create virtual experiments and virtual labs. We're also working to try and create live online experiments which will generate real data that the students can analyse in real time. And we're also hoping to make and design easy fun experiments that students can carry out in their own time at home. We need to make the laboratory environments as user friendly and as safe as possible for our students with the new restrictions. And we also need to ensure that they're still getting a worthwhile learning experience while they're in their lab. Well, every day is different and there's never a dull moment. The COVID planning work is a prime example of that. My working day can vary from helping students to design experiments for their research projects, to designing and troubleshooting a new experiment for a biochemistry undergraduate class. Um, I could be designing new laboratories in our new campus or risk assessing new techniques and procedures for, or procuring lab equipment. So it's certainly not a desk job and it's very varied. <laughs> I hope I have already made a difference in inspiring students and potential students to pursue a career in STEM and particularly a technical career which can be challenging but it's very rewarding and it's not a career that will suit everyone so it's important for me that I give students a real insight into the pros and cons of a technical career and hopefully they will see more pros than cons. <laughs> into our new campus in early 2021 and we have designed state-of-the-art teaching laboratories. I hope in 10 years time we will have developed world-class teaching facilities in our new university campus in Grange Gorman and the student ex learning experience that we will have developed will have become one of the best in Ireland. <music> Even in 2020, the age of equality and opportunity, STEM roles are unfortunately predominantly male dominated. And while this is changing slowly, the majority of the senior decision making roles in STEM are still male dominated. And if we want women to have an equal voice in formulating scientific a policy for the future, we need more women to pursue STEM education so they can then pursue the careers that will allow this. <laughs> Don't be afraid to follow your dream and pursue what you love doing. I would say to young girls that if you love maths or physics or engineering or architecture or chemistry or biology, and if you are good at these subjects in schools, in school, please don't waste that talent and desire. You are well able to pursue these as a career and you can and will make a real difference in the world with these skills. You can go anywhere and be anything you want with a STEM career. So believe in yourself and follow your heart. Music